so she was amongst the top 10 uh, finalists of american express makeathon in 2022 Uh, if you want to get obviously an internship or PP opportunity at uh, first round was IES submission phase. Obviously, we were among the top ten from four thousand plus teams. So, like you can imagine, how- I feel research is the most important point. So, oh, hello everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing about American Express Makeathon, which is a way to get an internship or a full-time offer from American Express via a hackathon. So. basically if you are from the 2023 batch or the 2024 batch this opportunity is for you and the registration is open so do check out the link in the description so hello everyone welcome back to the channel today we are going to discuss about american express makeathon which is a way to get an internship in american express via a hackathon so today we have with us shreya singh who is an upcoming technology intern at american express and she bagged this opportunity via american express makeathon so she was amongst the top 10 uh, finalists of american express makeathon in 2022 apart from that she has also cleared uh, jpmc code for good and she is also a web dev associate at code vendors so hi shreya welcome to the channel hello di thank you for uh, calling me okay so first of all tell me how did you come to know about this makeathon opportunity because a lot of students don't know what opportunities are going on so how did you come to know about first of all i got to know about it uh, through my college tnp but otherwise one can get to know about more such opportunities through hacker earth programming challenge page so yeah you can just search up okay okay so and uh, this year the eligibility is 2023 2024 batches and you can get a direct internship offer or probably an interview so it's a great opportunity in that sense right so tell me how do you apply for it like what was application first of all uh, one should apply in case that uh, they love to take part in various hackathons and want to represent their innovative idea in real life projects second i would say that uh, if you want to get obviously an internship or pp opportunity at amex so go ahead with it along the process you get to learn a lot about the company's culture as well and obviously winner obviously stands a chance to win customized gift hamper or, or the cash prizes so yeah i pretty much feel that everyone should apply in order to learn definitely definitely so how did you apply was it a simple form or what uh it was a simple form like i applied on uh, hacker rank platform only and it required registration of the whole team um so since i was the team leader i had to register the whole team and i guess there was separate individual registrations as well okay so got it and you had to submit your resume also yes okay okay so great to know that and uh, basically uh, what was the first round like how did uh, after the you know registration what did everyone get the idea some get to the idea submission phase or was it a few teams got there no i guess everyone was allowed to submit their ideas it was open to all okay so what was what happened in that round can you explain so like uh, first round was ias submission phase obviously so as soon as we landed on the page the themes of the makeathon are visible like this year also they are visible so first round uh, we had to submit our ideas so my team and i chose last year uh, the theme for reinventing digital lending so this year there are like six th- themes so you can choose any one of them i feel personally feel that uh, you need to read and reread the themes to get an in depth idea about what you need to work on and i would suggest to keep your options open and think broadly about as many ideas as you can on each theme and uh, then after doing research shortlist the topics that you want to work on and finalize your topic and work on one solid idea not like giving 
various ideas your time so it would not worth the energy apart from that our ppt had like we had to make a ppt for this round so our ppt for this round was very detailed though i strongly suggest that you should stick to the slide limit if mentioned any and we showed our vision for the project through the ppt and even presented the figma prototype for better visual uh, display okay this is like the most important round i believe because a lot of teams would would have been eliminated in this one yeah 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 like uh, we were among the top 10 from 4000 plus teams so like you can imagine how much uh, the thought process they would have put so to in order to select some okay so did you think of the tech stack like like you mentioned the tech stack in the presentation or not or did you just mention the idea we were supposed to mention tech stack like what all we are going to use for prototype building so it was the requirement of the ppt itself there are pointers given to you on the basis of which you need to make the ppt so please keep the pointers in mind before uh, submitting the ppt okay and any other tips that you feel that would make your presentation next level like maybe probably thinking in depth or something like that i feel research is the most important point one need to keep in mind and based on like amex is a fintech uh, company so you need to put in extra hours because not everyone is familiar with the finance and tech uh, mm-hmm. mixture apart from that if you are able to add additional links that would be a plus plus for you okay so then your ppt was selected so then the you know the pressure that you have to build this now so how was the prototype building phase that's the second phase in which you were the top 10 teams so actually the second round was prototype building and uh, in this round since we were the top 10 uh, fortunate teams to be selected so each team was actually assigned a mentor for help and guidance and they were super helpful as we could openly chat and discuss our problems visions ideas about the projects with them and do a collective team meet they used to give us time like we could like call up any time we need any help apart from our side so basically you are given 15 days to work on the working model of the project and present it in front of the judges in the final round so this was in short the prototype building now okay so you like what tech stack did you work in and did you already know the tech stack or did you learn on the go actually i had slight bit of idea about uh, my tech stack to be precise and i guess my teammates also had a bit of idea about what they were doing so they were mainly handling the back end and uh, the front end and i was dealing with the machine learning part so i had a bit of uh, idea what i am going to do about it but uh, as you go deeper you get to learn a lot and i admit that many of the things i learned on the spot so yeah you get to learn a lot during the 15 days period okay and how was the overall hackathon experience like from the starting till the you know prototype building and what happened next like overall overall it was really awesome journey throughout like talking about amex uh, in particular we got to learn a lot about the company's culture by getting to interact with employees and mentors as well so everyone is like willing to help each other that's the best part of it and as far as learning is concerned there is a lot to learn you get to explore new tech stacks on the way and have in a motivation to work on them once you have the vision of your project and your goal is clear you can like achieve anything if you want besides this fun is always involved uh, like uh, you get to chat with the mentors like even outside com- about outside about companies like you can talk about uh, how to get internship how is the work culture what about the food cafeteria like they are open to chat about anything and uh, your skills is all 
major in all major sectors be the be it the coding or be it communication skills are highly improved throughout the journey also great great and the what happened next how did you land an internship at amix from being the top 10 teams by amix basically first of all if you end up in the top 3 winning team in the makeathon so you are going to get a straight chance to intern at amix and this was the case until last year but if you are in top 10 as well so you are going to get an exclusive opportunity to directly get in, uh, interviewed for the internship opportunity and so you are like ultimately going to land in a win win situation in any case so just aim at top 10 getting into top 10 teams okay so like how was then the interviews like the essay based or what how did you prepare for them so uh, there wasn't much preparation involved from my side but uh, mainly it depends from person to person like uh, as my team consisted of three members so each had different set of questions in the in their interview but i would highly suggest you to go through with the project you presented and know about each and every detail of the same even in case you didn't directly work on any particular aspects of the project like i was uh, asked to explain about apis so although my other teammate was the one actually working working on it so yeah you can be asked about anything so just be prepared and know your project thoroughly its vision its details and the tech stacks all of you have used like be back end front end or machine learning or any additional thing that you have used so besides that i would suggest that do practice puzzles and dsa as well like brush up your dsa skills and codings uh overall if you know your project well then you are in for a treat at the end of the um interview in form of internship offer okay okay great so yeah and you will be uh, joining amex this summer i guess right as an intern yes 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 and what is your advice for someone who is new to hackathons or who has not participated in hackathons like how to get started and you know what to learn everything I get asked this question a lot like I would suggest you to go with the flow like just form a team and go in it and you learn by just uh, taking a deeper dive so as you go to the next round you learn about some new tech stacks and you explore more so I feel that there is nothing to prepare in case of a hackathons you just have to deep take a deep dive and you can learn as much as you can and you should have some you know keen interest in building something new something useful so that motivation should yeah totally a bit okay okay so yeah that's it for this video uh, thank you for joining us priya uh, it was a pleasure talking to you and i hope this video will actually help a lot of people i i hope i am really thankful to you that you have Uh, invited me for this talk and i am glad that i'll be able to help my juniors through this thank you for watching the entire video and i hope this video was very useful for everyone and if you like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such interesting useful videos and useful podcasts and also comment what you'd like to see So thank you and bye bye